uh, sorry for like, I can, I can hide all this bullshit and I can just tell the therapist whatever I want. Mm. It's like everything else, right? Like if I want to get off drugs, I got to realize like, I want to get off drugs and therapies. I think therapy is that same way. You have to know at least a, a beginning of a foundation of what your issue may be. And then they can expand off that and specialize in trying to help you whatever, you know, whatever it is. So if you don't know, I'm just going cause like you said, my old lady told me to go or um, I fucked up at work. So now I got to go to therapy because, you know what I mean? I think it's really trying to find the core reason why you need to go. Mm -hmm. And that's why I was asking you earlier about, you know, people being aware of their traumas. Yeah. You know, because like you said, if they going for, because somebody told them to go or it's popular, you're never really going to get to the root problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And and then you're wasting your copay. Wasting your copay. <laughs> so <laughs> uh example. All right, let let's 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 use me as a, as an example. I went through a divorce because I was on the show before, right? Yeah, you yeah, yeah, you yeah. similar to this, you you familiar with the story. Yeah. I go through a divorce, I was telling my wife, I need to go to therapy because I know, I know there are some things in me that needs to be dealt with you know so i went in knowing what i needed to address and then just from one simple issue came all these other issues there i was like there you go, there you go. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you know from growing up in a, in a single parent home to growing up in the hood and and you know banging and drugs and, yeah, yeah. and, and all this different thing a childhood you know you sexual abuse all these things like i've been through it all yeah. you know what i'm saying but i never knew how that was going to manifest well i saw how it manifested in my life in my first marriage mm -hmm. after therapy yeah you know and not saying? only that though yeah mm -hmm. and not only that you got to think too so so let me be clear because a lot of people again a lot of people may not know the core reason of why they need therapy mm -hmm. but remember i said this key words triggers so mm -hmm. if there's things that cause you to feel a certain way at this moment you that that helps in therapy like okay what happened before that you started feeling that way mm -hmm. oh this happened and then now you can start you know you can start pulling back the layers and try to figure out what's going on so but again i think you have to have some type of reason of understanding why you need to go you mm -hmm. know what i mean mm -hmm. and, and we all need some type of therapy real talk I, I agree i think that but again it doesn't have to be laying on the couch while a white man take notes mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> no that's real because my first therapist man she was dope i had her for two years mm -hmm. um before you know but anyway um but she was dope and i was like dang so i had to try to find me another therapist and even that's a, a job within itself and not trying to discourage anybody but it's almost like dating mm -hmm. <laughs> you know I, do you do you think that do you think that everyone knows their traumas? Kind of back to the question you you asked me. I, honestly, Jones, they don't. I, I and I would say maybe and maybe I'm just I'm just throwing numbers. I'm not Pew Research Center, but I will say maybe I would say maybe seventy percent, bro. Know it or don't know? Don't know. Hmm. I will say, and the reason why I throw that number so high. Is because like you said most people don't know their triggers and very few people are self-aware mm. very few people are willing to take the time to say damn why why is this such a trigger for me because you know um she slammed she slammed the refrigerator door that's a trigger for me it's like don't be tearing up my stuff and then you, you're falling out over the refrigerator door being slammed but is this something deeper than that yeah, that's interesting you say that. So you say 70% don't. So do you think that 70% of the people that deal with, let's say, quote unquote, again, you knew how you was raised and you knew the things that you didn't dis you, that you disliked in the way you were raised, regardless if it was alcoholism, mm -hmm. drug addiction, mm -hmm. abuse, whatever it may have been that we consider what our traumas may be. You knew what the, you knew those are wrong growing up. Do you or do you think? Like maybe we don't know what triggers what what caused us to have these like what's triggering us to have alcoholism, 
be abusive towards our spouses or our kids but we knew that's how we were again that's how i was raised mm. do you think people just think that's normal like that becomes their norm yeah yeah right. because people people a lot of people's dysfunction is normal yeah you know like, like i said on the show they become comfortable in the uncomfortable space yeah it's 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 the perfect example of being in a in an unhealthy relationship but because you're afraid to leave the relationship you rather stick to your known evil yeah 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 you become comfortable in that yeah that, that place yeah yeah i i read a quote one time that said first we make our habits then our habits make us mm -hmm. so whatever our habits are these triggers whatever they are, if we don't address them, because a lot of times, most of the times, man, we live our life unconscious. Very few of us are really conscious and intentional about our day-to-day -day life. We just, we wake up, we know what we need to do. It's automatic. Yeah, man, you know what? I, I, I don't know, man. I think like, I think that percentage is high. And like we said, we just, we just, we, we sling it. We slinging numbers out. Yeah. Because here's the thing, man, even in my, even in my imperfections and we all have them, right? Like mm -hmm. talk every week and I can sit here and sound like I know everything that I'm saying and saying it right. But at the end of the day, we all have our imperfection and our fuck ups, right? Like we go, I battle them every day, mm -hmm. but even in battling them, the, my, my imperfections, a lot of times I know I'm wrong and I may feel guilty about me being wrong, but a lot of times I will step and repeat being wrong even though like it may take prayer, it may take therapy, yeah. or and I may have gotten better than what I was two years ago. But even in those times of doing wrong, we know. So I think even with like, if I am if I am going through whatever my traumas and if I accept, I've accepted my traumas and I have been, again, living in an uncomfortable place, being comfortable in that place, I still know it's wrong. Mm. Like, but I just continue to carry the tradition of uncomfortable being in that uncomfortable place so i know but am i doing anything about it again seeking therapy mm -hmm. trying to help and a lot of times man maturity comes with it you know what i'm saying and time comes with it age you know, tired of hurting people you know what i mean that kind of stuff but even that man like you know the people pointing fingers in their perfect place at you like you got some stuff going on too now <laughs> you <Yep>. know <laughs> yeah man you know what i'm saying so because somebody asked me the other day about dating about trying to find a perfect person and i was like look everybody broken you just got to pick you know some people got sandwich bag size issues some people got garbage bag size issues it just yeah. depends on what you're willing to deal with Man, some people, but the people who got them sandwich bag issues, they got a lot of sandwich bags. That's probably equal to that one trash bag. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't let them fool you, dog. <laughs> Don't let them fool you. <laughs> yeah. And, and a lot of it is, is your tolerance level. Like, what are you willing, yeah. you know what I'm saying? What are you really willing to deal with? And you know what I'm saying? Because some people, man, they, you can, you can look at me and my wife and be like, I don't see how you deal with that. But to yeah. me, I'm just like, no, nah, dude, I'm I'm good. Like I'm safe with this. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh I remember when my wife and I were dating people, oh well, you married her in six months. How how did you know she was the right one? Because I'm like, I'm not about to keep dating trying to get that. And I always tell people, my wife's like 90 80% of what I'm looking for. Mm. I'm not about to go and try to date to try to find 90% right 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 you know what i'm saying trying to be yeah, greedy and, and that's their business i mean that's your business man like i think we got a problem in our and in, and in, in what we got going on now man even like even if i know you are having imperfections and i have nothing to do with it especially if it's with you in another relationship with your wife whoever it may be and it has i have nothing to do with that <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what am I? Hey, man, prayers up, bro. You know what I mean? And, and, and unless it's a situation to you and I, to where you come to me and you ask me my advice or whatever, but I'm not going to just interject my opinion, my thoughts into what you have going on. That's unsolicited. That's for what? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and and at the end of the day, man, you probably got it worked out more than what. what, I, what why am I jumping in that? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. 
because because sometimes it, you know it sounds good and stuff like that but people don't don't know people people want what you have but they don't want to do what you did to get it 